Hi there, I'm Becky from the Pottery Supply House and today I'm going to talk about the difference between our stains and our underglazes. So one of the main things with the stain is that they are pure pigment, as you can see there, nice and vibrant color. And these need a vehicle to get to the surface or into your clay. So you can use them uh, by adding some of this to your clay, wedging it in, and then you can color the clay. You could make a slip with it, add it to your slip, and you could put it at any, you could have a nice light color, you could have a dark color, whatever you'd like, depending on the um, percentage you add. You can uh, make a wash with them, and you can add them to a clear glaze to color your glaze. So they will fire at any temperature. So you could um, experiment and see how they look at cone 10, but definitely play around and do some testing. So the underglazes are pre-mixed, a couple of different ingredients make these up. They are liquid, ready to use, perfect consistency. They can be applied at many different stages. So what you could do is use them on wet, you could use them on leather hard, you could use them on bone dry, and you can use them on bisque. So any stage will work. You can put a little nib on the end of these bottles and it will screw right on and then you can write with them, which is kind of cool. You could uh, put them in a paint palette, and I have one right here that I use, and blend so many different colors of your own. Uh, PSH have a huge selection of color, but if you wanna do uh, lighter or darker, anything like that, you can blend your own. So what I love about these is that when you let this dry out after you're done using it, you can bring it back to life when you go back to this and spritz it with some water and it will come right back to life. So that is one of my favorite things is that you're never wasting any underglaze. So underglaze will fire at every temperature as well. So uh, do some experimenting, test it out, see what you like and see if any of these work for you at cone 10 as well. So the underglaze, when they're on the surface and they're bisque fired, they will feel like the clay. They will be raw. They won't have a glossiness to them. So you do have to add a glaze over top if you'd like. So you could use a glossy, uh, transparent. We do sell a nice transparent uh, True Colors Clear that will go over top really nicely. And we also have some matte glazes as well to experiment with. So I hope that answers some questions today on the difference between the stain and the underglaze. Thanks for watching.